Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for the welcome and the opportunity to speak today in this important forum. Considering the debt burden and the significant physical deficit experienced by a number of countries, it's become important to explore strategic in intervention and innovative financing approaches to support the physical sustainability in education sectors. As the work of Education Above All Foundation and our partners will average around $3 billion with Islamic Development Banks, World Bank, and other development agency, improving the gap and become more even aware of the critical of the developing and implementing long-term education financing sustainability models. Models that do not force countries to even deeper in the debt on the futures. We continue to explore innovating financing models and policy change to help the close the funding gap in education. Education Above All Foundation and the World Bank until last month in a project to support out of school children in Sierra Leone. Additionally, we have established a partnership with Islamic Development Banks last month to support Nigeria with a number of out of school children. We have also successfully secured further funding to the partners such as Save the Children, Arab Fund from Kuwait, and the Global Partnership for Education, GBE, on the multipliers. We are working with a new initiative with Columbia Universities, Development Bank, and the private sector, and with others who we are building alliance for financial sustainable in education. We shall be looking to a range of challenges and long-term financing and stated today, and how to improve efficiency of available funds. We initiated this work last year, and we are expecting to an important outcome during the General Assembly this year and presented during the G20 in Brazil. Our speaker from the opening panel outlined clearly what some of the major challenges that education are facing, especially on the system on the domestic levels and other sectors. We talk about priority, we talk about focus, population growth, education system into a longer fit, not fitting the need of the purpose today, and the need of better getting targeting of education and budget for the national level. For the next session, we're looking forward to hearing their recommendation on how to improve and move from the traditional financing in relation to improving financing into education. I expect them to address the innovative partnership with the engagement means to increase domestic resources for education and how can we modify a new financing framework and the limited timeline. Thank you so much.